Wait, what? 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 All right, dudes. Here we are. We're coming to the final stages of High School DxD Born. This is it. We're going to be concluding this season in this sitting. Four episodes back to back. Now, as you know, this has been one hell of a journey. And it's not over yet because we have another season to go. But from first impressions going in here, I thought I was in for a really just kind of borderline hentai anime with a little bit of action. But then as the season progressed, the anime progressed, the action scenes progressed, and the story progressed. And I began to really like these characters of High School DxD. To the point that DxD is definitely one of my favorite anime. Um, I know that's a big of a bit of a statement to make, but it actually is because I think it's probably the most interesting lore of any anime I've watched to date. Because they explore a lot of the mythologies from... North mythology to demons and devils and gods and angels and even um, Chinese mythology with the likes of Son Goku who is basically the monkey king. So all of this stuff is really interesting and I think they can elaborate on it a little bit more. I think they can delve deeper in this kind of lore and that's why I think it's quite interesting because you yourself as a viewer can kind of use your imagination to see how vast lore can actually take you and i think that's really awesome and on top of all that like we have the characters of isei and uh rias grimmery and the grimmery household and all of her um subordinates i want to say and i like them all i really do and i like the fact that each character has really been given the origin that they deserve and they're not just characters just to look cool or look nice. They're characters with a story and a meaning and a purpose. And that's what makes this so good to watch, you know, because everybody in this group has a motive to fight for. And they all fight for Rias Grimmery because she saved them all, you know, in, in their time of desperate need and struggle. And I think that's so cool. I like that. And yes, I know the fan service in this is a plus. Definitely, it definitely is. It's 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 also goddamn hilarious. That's what I love about it, you know. So we're gonna be delving in here, dudes. We're gonna be checking out four episodes back to back. Now, if you guys remember, in the last episode, Ozzie disappeared. She wanted to say a prayer, and then out of nowhere, this big bright light, and she just disappeared. So where did she go? After Issei and crew saving her. This is the last thing you wanted to happen, but it happened. So we're going to find out and see what exactly happened to us, yeah? And hopefully we'll get some answers. So strap yourselves in, dudes. We're in a four-episode marathon here today. Now, of course, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, highly suggest go checking out the DV Sama Patreon page. I'll leave a link up here to click so you guys can check out all the tiers and all of the early access and all the shows that we're checking out over there, either exclusively or early. Anyway, that being said, dudes, it's time to dive into DXD. So without further ado, let's watch High School DXD. There's a big bright light, dudes. Look at the shock on his face. I am Shalba Beelzebub. What do you want? Oh. Please, Shalba, help me. Imagine if both the old and current Devil Kings combine their strength. Jesus. Current Devil King, did he say? Calling the true bloodline old was the fool's first mistake. Jesus. This dude's powerful, bro. I am the true descendant and heir of Asmodeus. Whoa, he's My cool. My name is Crucery Asmodeus. So, one of the great masterminds. It doesn't matter who you are. You Whoa. Will suffer for what you did to Ozia. My girl's pissed. Imposter Sir Zex. Nothing personal, but I think I will kill you. Ozia. Ozia. Where did you see his heart broken? Come on. Let's go home. Come on. You say now is not the time to lose your shit, bro. And that fight that he put on in the last episode, bro, like he really gave everything he had, you know? I don't think he has anything left. Where the heck is she gone? You think after that climatic episode previously that that would 
basically conclude that segment of this uh, season, but no. There's still so much more to do. Now these new dudes just showed up and now... God, I don't know. Boobies and butts are gone flying. Simply, the bitch is dead. Oh my god! But why Ozia? Like, why did he do that to her? Sir Zex, prepare yourself in your artificial existence for death. Crucery. As the great devil king, I will eliminate anyone who stands against the current underworld. Whoa, shit, look at this. What is this? Impossible! Needed the snake and power Orphis had placed within him. That was too easy oh, for him. Perfect. Didn't expect you to show up in person. Wait. Hi, Azazel. It's been a while. Who's that? Uh, you made a poor decision, and now you must pay. Holy shit! Look at this power. And it's not driven by boobies or butts. It's driven by emotion. Who are you? What? Time for what? I don't know you. He's transforming into the actual dragon? What the fuck? I mock the infinite and Jesus, what the freak? Juggernaut Drive? Is that what he said? Holy shit. If we defeat you here, are you finally going to let peace win out? Volley, do you truly believe we shall find it here? The dimensional gap is almost a void. I am confident we will find it. But that's where Ozia is in the dimensional gap, isn't she not? What's wrong? There's been a change of plans. We're going to the underworld. Why so suddenly, though? Is that a person? You sense Dise's power. I need you, Ozia! God. Dise truly, truly cares about Ozia. They've been through so much together. What is this? Divine! Divide. He has divine dividing power. Divine dividing power. Using the power that he stole from Volley. Why must Volley insist on standing in my way? Die! Jesus Christ! Issei's power is truly immense! Jesus! Longinus Smasher! Longinus Smasher! Whoa! Red Dragon and White Dragon, damn you! Is that him down there? Juggernaut Drive. Jesus. It looks like your servant had an incomplete transformation. Do you know if there's any way to change him back? In an incomplete state, there's a chance it will happen naturally. But if not, he'll use up his life force until he dies. Either way, you should be worried. His life is most certainly in danger. Dear Ozzie! Ozzie! Oh yes. We happened to cross paths with her while we were moving through the dimensional gap. That is one lucky girl. She would have been exposed to the void if not for us. A body cannot withstand that kind so of pressure. So convenient for them to be there. To the nothingness. Rius! If we tell, I'm going alone. <laughs> She has spoken damn that underwear though. I won't let you die. Volley, please. I'm begging you to do whatever you can to save Rias and Issei. Can you with the power of the White Dragon Emperor? Do you think you're strong enough? Vanishing Dragon Balance Breaker. Wow, dude. He's gonna try control him. 
just gonna contain his power a bit. The dragon that masters the path of domination. I shall lead you to the farthest limits of innocence. Juggernaut Drive! Whoa, now he's gonna use his Juggernaut Drive. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Oh, he almost lost it. Divide. 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 Wow. God damn, the power of the white dragon. Leave the rest up to you. As if I couldn't tell you were a virgin from the first time I saw you. God, that's going way back. I know, it was so stupid the way you'd try to play superhero if I complained or looked helpless. It's true. You wanted to believe it so badly that you never even caught on. Would you please die for me? Look who showed up. Hello, Orphus. Orphus. Oh no! She's okay, you say. I couldn't protect my friend. Again, I couldn't protect her. You wouldn't have been able to save her back then anyway. Why is she still in his consciousness? You can't save her now. Jesus Christ. What's that? Something that was inside of him. She got it. Was it that fallen angel? Did she stick with him this entire time? Issei, welcome back. Nice moves. Issei, how do you feel? You okay, that's all. Asya. Volley is Asya. incredibly experienced. Issei. Like he knows so much more. Asya. You're okay. Asya. Oh shit. Asya. What the fuck is... Is that a dragon? Can't be. Dragon of Dragon. He is often called DD, the true red dragon god emperor. Great red. Great red. Wow. DD. He chooses to live in god emperor. Someday I'll take down the great red. Jesus Christ, the size of that freaking thing. It's been a while. <laughs> Meet Orphis. The dr one day soon, I am going to obtain my silence. Tell me something, Issei. Wow. Do you want to defeat me? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you are such a about that. little man. Get strong, Issei. Don't you let me down. Whoa. <sighs> the dragon amongst dragons. DD. Did you find Great Red? Only for a moment, but we did, yes. That's all? You are the absolute best. <laughs> yeah, you are the absolute best servant that I have. Score! And you <laughs> have the absolute best! Issei! <gasps> oh. Issei! That's it. Wait! Remember that what you consider to be peace can often be painful for others. Issei! What the fuck? And you're gonna end it like that? What happens? Obviously, it's had some sort of physical effect on him now. Our only option is to wait it out. Issei suffering because of me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Now, this isn't your fault. Yeah. She's right, Asya. Any blame goes to those Chaos Brigade jerks. <laughs> yeah, those dipwads. Huh. Hey, Asya, I got a question. Uh huh. You still haven't done it yet, right? Done what? I'm talking about what you worked on in training. Not inevitable. I'll do it. I at least have to try. 
She's got some sort of special ability to do this. Always look out for me, and he kept his word by feeding Theodora. Now it's my turn to look out for him, and there's no way I'm just gonna give up. I owe him more than that. I have full faith in you. That looks nasty, though, doesn't it? It's like binding with his veins and his. Do you really think it's a good idea to leave Asya all alone in there? If she focused all of her energy, we have no way to determine how powerful the force would be. And as long as that's the case, it's not safe to be in the same area. You're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? I'd be lying to you if I said this didn't scare me to death. But it's my duty to trust Asya. Come on, Asya, you can do it. You can do it, girl. Wait, what? 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 Why does it rip the top? <laughs> it's just like okay. Oh, I don't think that was necessary, but okay. <laughs> Making everybody worry. Man, Aja is a lot more powerful than she thinks. Like, Jesus, being able to do that? Oh! Lips! I love you, Isi. More than life itself. I've never been so sure of anything before. So passionate. <laughs> I feel bad walking in on such a private moment. Oh, hey guys, didn't notice you there. <laughs> it looks like Asia has won today's battle for Issei. Yes, it would seem that Battle way. for Issei, you lucky dickhead. I hate you. <laughs> I'm serious though, Asia. I'm super grateful for what you did. No, Issei. Really, there's no need to thank me. Of course I'm not. Are you all right, Rius? Of course, I'm fine. Okay, everyone. Now that Issei has gotten back. What's this? Certain options are still available. The kind you'll feel in the marrow of your bones. That's freaking Loki. I thought he was. You and your beloved ruined princess will suffer. Loki's back? I knew it couldn't have been the last we've seen of him. back home again. It's weird to think I was asleep for three days. I feel kind of bad you guys missed school because of me. Sorry about that. I told the school that we would be spending a few days overseas for a practice match, so our absence has been excused. I'll just let them the know. School with no teachers. The weather or something. So your solution to the problem is to lie. What kind of a cult club even has practice matches? The entire excuse was Where's predicated Kiba? on a lie. There are other problems besides that. <laughs> It's no fair. How could Lord Odin be oh so God, cool? She's I still there? He returned to take me back home and instead he sends me into battle. I did it. No complaints. And when I'll just join the house of Grimory already. He's gone back to Valhalla and left boring old Rustbites up behind. <laughs> he probably had a load of admin to wade through after such a mega conflict. I'm sure he'll come back yes, soon no, to pick you up. I was there gonna demote me for sure. This is corporate. <laughs> Terrible when I saw Odin moving Jesus behind Christ. in the underworld. <laughs> no choice but to bring her home. If she's always acting like this, how can you really blame old what's his beard? Cause right now she's totally Queen Buzzkill. She'll be fine. And if the Asgardians decide not to take her back, I have an idea. Like what? Oh. Not yet. Uh uh. How's the Grimmery? She gonna join them? Oh, how are you oh. Fine. bat scene. It's so strange. Why are you so surprised? Like, you love Issei, like the rest of the freaking girls. What are you doing, Gatsby? What's up, Issei? Wait, is that Issei? Wait, what's wrong? Why, why is he tearing up? Why is she tearing up? I wasn't expecting you. Have you finished practicing for the festival? Yep, I swung by to pick up my bag. Uh, I hadn't realized it had gotten so late. That's not easy. Nothing important. 
You seem and like you're worried about something. He's never called her gorgeous. What the hell is going on? Easy. This is not like Ise. You don't need to worry about these problems. What? He's totally out of character. What's going on? Because it's not freaking him. I knew it. <laughs> that little dude's gonna freaking explode. Oh no! What happened to you? Ace. Damned imposter! Why are you pretending to be me, you dill hole? Get a lie! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Rius is under his control. How could Rius of all people be under someone's control? What the hell? Oh no! So somebody contacted her, warning her about this. Oh my god! The clubhouse! Valhalla sent an emergency message to Ross Visa. Loki was responsible. That sneaky bitch! So now we've got ah, God damn it, I did not know I didn't put that together for God's sake. Of course it's Loki. He can disguise himself. It's so deep within Rhea's psyche she doesn't even realize it's there. Poor Rius. So beautiful. The graceful way she carries herself and eyes that pierce your soul. She's the smartest, most beautiful girl in the entire school. How Moved. My sources say she's been taken to the dimensional gap. Dimensional gap? Isn't again? Another one? Back there again, I mean? Kingdoms of gods and devils alike. The only remaining possibility. So if we can get there, we should be able to save Rius, right? The void of the dimension. So who took on the form of Issei then? Loki's locked up. The plan? To go see Volley now. Oh shit! He's gonna team up with Volley? Okay. This is getting interesting, dude. All right, dude. Second last episode of the season. Hold on, Issei. Just think, are you ready to give up being a devil? Why is that what it means? What? You'd wonder, right? Okay, just watching these episodes, it's like, episode after episode, something terrible has happened. Do these guys not get exhausted at all? It almost feels like it happens in days between each other as well. It's like, for God's sake, bro. You just saved Ozia, now you have to save Rias. For Christ's sake, bro. Episode 11, I what will exactly fight. Telling us? Yeah, Try what's he on about? The devil king. To start with that, I hate long division. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor Gaspy. I hate here, long division. This is all confusing. Look at them. They're all standing with him. We owe Rius too much to abandon her. Makes a good point. <laughs> Whoa. She loves seeing her little sister. I love seeing your older sister. Sharone has to come back with me. Wait, what? I've tried to get her back. That's not fair. So, uh, is there a second thing you want? <laughs> Don't think so. for a favor, remember? That's it. The negotiations are over. Oh, he say stand back, bro. And make you take us. Oh. Some brass words, man. The ones involved with the red or white dragon. <coughs> Whoa. The holy royal sword Colbrand. Passed the air. Colbrand. Path between dimensions. Between dimensions? That bratty little bitch Theodora. This is just my way of saying I'm sorry. Fair enough. So she, he gave her his sacred gear. I'm sending them into the jaws of potential death. Seems weird. To me. Oh my God, look at that. We see her, no doubt. <laughs> Our feelings will summon her. Give her a way to find us. 
So what, they just have to stand there, in the void, until she feels and senses them. It's her. Reyes, that was quick. That really you? I'm so glad. <laughs> no, 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 Ozzy. Now it's Issei's turn to snap her out of it. What's wrong with her? What? Oh no, Gaspy! Oh shit, that's true. Oh no. What do you mean retreat? Did it make the barrier? Cool, Dugeki. Even though you were locked in a box for two seasons. When I was consumed with hate, you took me. She's crying. She's reacting. Oh! Wait, what? 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 What's she got sacred freaking gear? I'm guessing that trick's new. It looks like a less protective version of Issei's balance breaker. Is this what he meant? Uh oh. Oh no! Grip on yourself. Whoa! Are you gonna be okay? Yes, Issei. I don't supposed to live with myself after that. I understand how painful this must be for you. I swear. With that There's no said, other option, like. Now, more than ever. The only thing she wants is for you to rescue. All right. <laughs> that did that didn't take much convincing. Come on, he says it's all the only thing you can do, bro. Here we go. Let's get it on. Oh man, balance breaker versus balance breaker. Shit! Holy crap! But how does she have the balance breaker? Oh no! Oh no! It's not good for them. No, no, Ozia! Wow. I will fight. I promise. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, I don't know. I was not expecting that. Freaking Rius with the balance breaker? What? What? But how does she have that? They didn't really explain that. I know Loki's behind everything. I don't know. We'll in the next episode, I guess. We'll find out. Alright, guys. Final episode of the season. After all of this, dudes, you know I gotta get myself a Rhea Scrimmery statue. When we complete all four seasons, that's what I'm gonna do. She's beautiful, though, isn't she? She's gorgeous. Um, yep, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. When we complete four seasons, dude, when we complete the final season, I'm going to do it. And I'm actually going to do a video of me purchasing it, waiting for it to come, and then unboxing it for you guys. Yawning! Always, no matter what. God, a lot of blood. I like you, and I don't care what your name is. I like you for who you are. I love you, Rias. Next time, do your job well, whether there's a reward or not. Jesus. Just. 
Wow. I understand. I know what I've got to do now. You're pawn after all. It's my job, right? That's right. I am Rhea's Reverie's pawn. Oh, booty. Balance breaker booty. You did it! Damn! Catch her! Whoa! Thank you, my darling. I was so worried. Is she? Eat a bag of dicks! Eat a bag of dicks! Holy shit! I'm relieved you're all safe. I was super surprised when you guys suddenly popped out of Delph. Don't know. So that's what now, it is. It's a fragment we can do is of the Red Dragon There's Emperor's power. Beat himself, it's easy. But if it's no, only a fragment, it shouldn't be as strong, right? right? What's that? Think of it as an evil piece of downloadable content, but still in beta. <laughs> I transferred those additions to the piece inside of you. I just realized, like, he, since this he's is also the called the Welsh Dragon. Process, any results have yet to be determined. I don't know why I, I, no I didn't defects, catch that last time. Special characteristics. It responds to the strength of the end user's will. Okay. If it ever becomes too much for you to handle, I'll be there to pick you back what up! What the hell is that? You did it. With ease, in fact. Oh no. During the quantum the realm. <laughs> Holy shit! What the happened? Into some kind of vortex between dimensions. Hush. How can they even approach. breathe in such an atmosphere? Sense whose approach? It's the DD. The dragon among dragons. It's very stiff looking though, isn't he? What the hell? Where are they now? The dragon of dragons. Where are we? Don't know. We were on this beach before I realized it. How stray you all to myself or anything like that. I'm not the jealous type. I'm not gonna ask any questions and the where the frig they are, what beach they're on. So close to Asia. And the way the rest but now you've shown me how you really feel. No, he loves you more than anyone. The reason how he got so far is because of you. You were everything to him. How the frig are you gonna get home? What did he say? He must have said something there. They just... <gasps> Here we go. Another kiss. And the battle for Issei goes to... Rias. In this episode. All these girls love Issei, man. And all he cares about is boobs. How the hell did he get home? I've come to expect no less from you. He kicked your own ass. But it's all kind of hazy. My memory's been fuzzy since the month. Bevy of beauty, so what's one more cock tease? Hey! No fair! Oh my god. One, two. Never Three, four. Where's Rhea at? Everything that's happened, the girls wanted to stay extra close. Five. All of them. All of them. All of them are in bed with him, practically naked. Yeah, slept like the dead. I don't really get what's going on. I know one thing for sure. Rhea's boobs are the tits, and they're blitching my face. Rhea's boobs are the tits. <laughs> Underworld. Yeah. We missed you most of all. <laughs> you did? It's true. Hardly a day went by where we didn't ask ourselves what's Asia up to now, or I wonder how she's doing. Well, as you can see, I'm doing just fine. He says got some you deadly parents. That in mind, would you extend your hospitality to our new friend? Oh. It's a pleasure to meet you. No. Another person. Mom and Dad, I'd like you to meet Ross Vaisa. She's, uh... She's a new teacher at the school, and since my father renovated your home, I... Really well as an insurance rep. She's actually buying a Valkyrie on the cheap. 
and the devil's <laughs> so now they have a valkyrie amongst the team <laughs> so what do you think sign up with team grimmery for the big win the underworld would be glad to have you oh my god going to make her one of your evil pieces the range attacks i'm thinking artillery support oh my god i knew it she's gonna join the house of grimmery she's gonna be one of the pieces on the thread of fate that led me to your house ever since our first meeting in the underworld things just seemed right here we go whoa due to the Gremory family's record of financial solvency and the top tier health insurance and pension Dazel? you're sitting in my chair without permission again you've got a full squad which it's funny how he just out, you face appears head on we will it's true she's I got swear. a full set I see that Glenn in your eyes it was a lot of trouble that World TV has finally been scheduled. Oh yeah, that's right. Dude, I nearly forgot. So you're going to be on television? What do they want me to do? After everything that's happened to you, maybe it'll Where's be Kiba? a close hero interview. Hero? Why does just Kiba just disappear sometimes? Yeah. He's not there. I guess I'm a big deal. This dragon is ready! How about you? It's dragon time! Yeah. Oh, here we go. This took a straight... <laughs> Crap and dragon song. <laughs> or Opie Dragon, you guys said it's actually called in Japanese. Yeah, Dragon Dragon, Opie Dragon. Hang on. Oh shit, finally, the teacher. And the teacher's a part of the Rio's Grimry household. But then, Opie Dragon song is with kids. What the hell? Look at him go. That's why I can always find strength to try my very best. Oh, yeah! My dream? I thought I'd made it pretty obvious. My dream is to become a harem king! Yeah. <laughs> Lois B's dream. There's a crimson hair. Beautiful. We got a complete set. Ise will always stand by my side. I can read it in their smiles. That's right. Just as it should be. And for now. Any time. For all time. Wow. That's it, dudes. We completed it. We have concluded season three of High School DXD. Man. All right, dudes. So that's it. We've just concluded it. Season three is now finished, and we're going to be making our way to season four very soon. But like I said at the beginning of this reaction, dudes, it like DXD was not something that I expected that I would like as much as I do now. Um. Obviously, like I said, first impressions was like, it's really fan servicey, it's really Ichi, it's not really something that I watch. Um, I think this is the first Ichi anime that I really did watch, because I never really watched them, you know. I always thought that they were borderline hentai or whatever. That's obviously coming from somebody that is never really associated with this kind of anime. And of course, I let you guys decide. I always do. I let you guys decide what shows I should watch. Because you guys, at the end of the day, are the ones that have seen this stuff. You're the knowledgeable ones when it comes to this stuff. Like, I'm by no means an expert. Okay? And I've been told many times by my subscribers or people that follow me that I'm so good, I know so much about anime. I do not. <laughs> I never say that I do. I don't. I talk about my experiences with anime. I talk about the shows that I've watched on the channel, you know, and I've watched with you guys. And I give you guys my breakdown, I give you guys my review on it, and I give you guys my general reactions to the show. And that's what it is. This is not coming from experience at all, whatsoever. This is just me and my feelings towards the show. And that is why coming into this, this is all new to me. Totally new when it came to this kind of anime. So, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect the show... 
like this one to have these kind of story elements, to have this kind of hard-hitting elements that you would only expect in a more dramatic anime. But going into this, I didn't expect that at all. But now, I think High School DxD has got that emotional factor. It's got the high-octane action scenes that I always look for in an anime. And it's got some really incredible characters. And that's what makes this show so good. Um, like, I've said it many times. If you eliminate the fan service, if you eliminate all the unnecessary um, adult themes in this, it is a show that many people can enjoy from all ages because it's very good. It's got a really great premise. It's got an incredibly intricate storyline exploring lore from different mythologies. Like, this kind of stuff a lot of people are interested in. And I think, like, High School DxD, it's... I don't want to say it's underrated because it's not. Because there's a lot of people out there that are willing to explore this kind of anime and enjoy it. But it's limited to the audience because of the adult themes. Younger people can't watch this show because of the adult themes. So I think if this show didn't have those, I think this would be up there in the anime world. I think a lot of people would be able to enjoy this from all ages. But having the adult theme in there is what distinguishes this anime from the rest, I would suppose. But it just limits it to the audience. That's the only problem with this show. I think more people would talk about this. This would be more mainstream if it was available for all, all viewers and all ages to watch. But it's not. It's only a certain audience. It's, it's, a tar it's got a target audience and I can see that. Obviously, the young adults um, can watch this show both male and female. Obviously, it's more um, targeting males um, just because of the amount of female anatomy that you see in the show. But that being said, that is something that I think I do enjoy in this. It does add an extra experience for the viewer having these adult themes in there, you know, the fan service, the opi. Like, that stuff, to me, personally, is quite funny. Um, it's quite funny to watch. Plus, it's, a ple it's pleasant as well on the eyes, you know. From somebody that doesn't watch hentai. I don't. I actually don't. Or I was going to say that now. I don't actually watch that stuff. Um, and I know some people do. And whatever. To each their own or whatever. That doesn't bother me. I have nothing against it. I never do. Um, I just don't watch it myself personally. But I can respect and I can see where the attraction comes from. Because these girls in this show are drawn in a way that is attractive. You know, we see like the opposite sex as the male point of view. Um, you see the opposite sex and there's certain physical aspects of a woman that you find attractive and they basically put all of the best things that you could see physically about a woman into this kind of show you know with the females like they all have the curves they all have you know the nice size opai or big or small but the figure is all there you know it's it's what we see as the opposite sex is attractive so i can see where that comes from and to me personally yes it's a pleasure to watch it's nice to see that so i think that does add something extra for the adult audience but the show itself is absolutely awesome it's fantastic you know yes first couple of episodes i was skeptical i didn't know what to expect but then i watched it and i was like wow you know not only does it deliver a pretty damn interesting storyline it's got some incredible animation as well like you have to admit the fight scenes in this are animated so goddamn beautifully there's a lot of shows that i watch that don't even come close to the animation in this show and i think that's what makes this really good you know for me to watch personally when it comes to the action scenes they don't hold back like i have to give it to the animators like there's I don't think I've come across any CG in this entire show. And that is a good thing. And considering what kind of elements they have to explore with like dragons and armor and like all this flashy stuff. It would have been so much easier for the animators to do CG but they chose not to. So it's all animation and that's what makes this so fantastic. You know and I appreciate that kind of work. You know personally from someone that watches a lot of anime which you all know, somebody that plays a lot of video games, that's watched a lot of movies, and that can appreciate everything to do with the production value when it comes to this kind of entertainment. Like, seeing that, it's so amazing, you know, and I really do applaud the animators, I applaud everybody that's worked on this project, because there's a lot of work that went into this, and you know, I know in the anime industry, when it comes to animating, like, the money is, is poor. It's very, very poor. Like, there's people in Japan that are struggling to keep food on the table, and 
they're animators and incredibly talented ones at that, you know? So, to me, I appreciate this and I am truly grateful as a viewer to see this stuff and to be able to talk about this and to actually talk about this as a profession and as a career now is truly remarkable, you know? And I feel like, to me, it's, it's not fair that the animators have to go through all of this to make a little bit of money, you know, it's it's not fair. Uh, they did they, they do deserve more recognition for the work that they do. Um, but me personally, I I can see what they do, and I really genuinely, I'm so grateful for this kind of entertainment that they provide us all. Um, but like from the animation quality to the story written as well, like the writers behind this, they really know their stuff. I mean, they go in depth with the lore. You know, they're they're exploring different mythologies, exploring different histories, religious beliefs. And like meshing it all together in one Ichi anime, it's pretty damn impressive, you know. First season, great. Second season, fan freaking tastic. Third season, third season, just as brilliant. Now, I do have one complaint about this season. Now, I did find that in season two as well, but in this one in particular, I found that the pacing was way too fast. Like every episode in this season something bad was happening, right? Something bad happened to someone, okay? And you're exploring these depths of something that's happening and it just, it's gone in a flash. Next thing it's over and then something new happens in the next episode. Sometimes they drag it from one to two episodes, but most of the time there's multiple different things happening in the one season, which is okay. And it's action-packed, it's, it's fueled with emotion, but it's so much happening at once, you know? But... At the end of the day, I did enjoy it. You know, that's that's the only problem I have with season three. I felt like they just kept rushing on. I th I feel like maybe in the manga there's so much more explained, but again, again, that's kind of the case for most anime and manga um, adaptations. Like you know, like usually it's more in depth when it's in paper, when it's on paper, when it's in a manga. Like they explain more of what's going on. You get more of an understanding and build more of a relationship as a viewer to the characters. But all in all, like I did enjoy season three. I enjoyed it a lot. We've seen a lot of improvements with Issei. Like he's come a long way, this dude. He really has. I'm proud of him. I really am. But there's some more depths to explore, you know? There's some more characters to see more of. Um and I, I cannot wait. I, I honestly can't. I don't know where season four is going to end, how it's going to end, but I don't know what to expect either. Like, who knows? They might explore other mythologies. I don't know. But I think from here on in, maybe it's already happened, but we're going into the anime only stuff now. It's kind of steered away from the manga. Um, I think you guys have told me that. So it's kind of doing its own thing now. So it's not really canon to the original source material. But I guess it doesn't matter because it's I've never read the mangas. To me, personally, it doesn't matter. I know too many manga readers, it probably does matter, but not to me. So I look forward to it for sure. So yeah, that was my reaction to the final four episodes of High School DxD Born. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like here. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, leave down in the comment section below what was your favorite things about the season. Did you enjoy the season? Did you not enjoy the season? Is there certain elements that should have been explored a little bit more in depth instead of rushing on to the next thing? I don't know. I want to know what you guys think down below. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, this whole um, reaction series is on Patreon. And we go more in depth with some of the stuff. And we also do like full length reactions. And we also are well ahead when it comes to some of these shows. And there's also exclusives here that are only here for Patreon. So, you know, just joining the Patreon doesn't mean you're supporting me. It also means you're getting rewards back. Because when it comes to you guys supporting me, I want to give back as much as I can. And that is what I intend on doing, you know. So, yeah. There's that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, leave a like if you enjoy it. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications, and make sure all notifications are enabled. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. I'll see you dudes in my next high school DXD video. See you later, dudes.